Nasky Group's chair pledged new investments of some 22 billion U.S. dollars in the U.S. in major high-tech sectors. The announcement followed a virtual meeting with President Joe Biden, who called the deal historic. Shin Zabiao fills us in. South Korea's second largest conglomerate, SK Group, on Tuesday unveiled an ambitious plan to inject billions of dollars in new investments in the United States and major industries, including chip production. Today, we are announcing another 22 billion in new investment in the U.S. In, in the U.S., so including the major investment in semiconductor, the EV batteries, and biotechnology. President Biden welcomed the announcement and called the investment historic, adding that it showcases that the U.S. is back to working with its allies. That, of course, includes South Korea. Thank you for this historic announcement. You know, this path-breaking announcement represents clear evidence that the United States, Korea, and its allies are back and winning the technology competition of the 21st century. The remarks followed a virtual meeting between President Biden and SK Group Chairman Choi Tae-won on Tuesday U.S. time, where they discussed boosting foreign investment in the U.S., especially in the chip industry, an area that has been at the center of Biden's policy agenda. The $22 billion announced on the day is part of a $52 billion package that the SK chairman said last year it pledged to invest in the U.S. through 2030. Broken down by industry, of the $22 billion, $15 billion will go solely into the semiconductors, $5 billion will be invested in green energy businesses such as battery development, with the remainder for biotechnologies. Biden said with the latest investment plans in place, the U.S. can expect to add as many as 20,000 new jobs by 2025. Tuesday's announcement comes on top of the group's $7 billion investment plan made in May for new EV battery production facilities in the U.S. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.